guys, what's going on? Scott Boards here. And this week, I wanna talk about terminal length and how it can affect your beard. Plus, my beard's getting pretty long on the side, so I thought, let's shave it up and round it up for you guys. So let's jump ship, we're gonna dive right into it. Here we go. On your marks, get set, grow. Now let's talk about terminal length and what it is and what it can do to our beards. Now there are many types of beardsmen out there. We have a thicker or coarser beardsmen. We have a thinner, wispier beardsmen. We've got patches, we've got fullness, we have thickness. We have millions and millions of different kinds of beardsmen. That being said, just like our eyebrows, just like our arm hair, there comes to a point where our beards just stop growing. Now we have to take in factors of what's happening with our beard and why it stopped growing. And there could be a few reasons. One is that we're trimming and we're maintaining our beard at a constant rate. Now this is that we're trimming, we're cutting, we're maintaining, we're shaving, and that our beard really can't have a chance to grow past that length. Now another reason could be an unkept beard. Now this is due to either a dryness, our beards are splitting up, we don't add moisturizer, our beards are actually falling out from fidgeting, and messing with our beard, so this could be an also a factor of terminal length. And just in general, the hair or the follicle can reach a certain point where it just doesn't wanna grow anymore and comes out and starts a new growth. And just remember guys, there are different spots on our beards, like our chins, our side jaw, our cheeks, that grow at different lengths and at different speeds. So for example, I have a really long and lengthy side jaw, but my front portion of my chin grows really slow. So I have to adjust for that and I could think that's terminal length, but in fact, that's just a slow growth in my front portion of my beard, where I have to maintain the side portion of my beard to make it look flush. Now, like I stated earlier, the reason why this terminal length is affecting us is because either we're messing with our beards, our beards are unkept or unhealthy, and it's creating a stopping point. And so maybe let's flip the switch and make our beards grow even longer. Now, in my opinion, I think there's actually a way to actually prevent the terminal length. And I think that's where we really need to maintain, hydrate, and always keep our beard in top notch shape. Now that being said, there actually are some tips and tricks that we can alleviate that terminal beard length. One, stop trimming. Stop trimming that beard, let it grow, don't maintain it, and let those extra follicles and those extra hairs grow even longer. Number two, we always wanna make sure our beards are clean, hydrated, that means we're using good products, we're using good oils, good balms, that way our beards are always well kept. Three, of course, is lifestyle and diet. If we're fidgeting with our beard and we're pulling out our beard, there's gonna be no time for our hair to grow out. Same as with the diet. If we're eating McDonald's all the time, we're just eating crappy foods, that's not really good nutrients for our skin and our hair. We always wanna eat nice good veggies, we wanna eat good clean meats, that way our skin, our body, and our hair will be to the best and fullest it can be. And that's where I wanted to bring it full circle. I really believe that we could get past that terminal length as long as we have a well-maintained diet, we're maintaining and we're washing and keeping our beard clean, and we're really staying away from fidgeting and cutting our beards. That being said, I'm a good example. For the past two to three weeks, I've been really trying to keep my beard as square as possible. So every two to three weeks, I've been trimming and cutting my neckline to make that nice square shape. The problem with doing that is that that gives no time for my chin or my jawline to grow out, and I've just let my sideburns grow extra length. Now that being said, my beard has come to a point where it's getting super long on the sides, and even on my bottom portion of my neck, it's not looking the best. Now you guys know that I love that square shaped look, but I thought, let's switch it up. Let's make it round. I'm gonna trim up the side of my beard and then I'm gonna trim up this little neck portion and we'll do that nice hangman's noose under the neck. So get yourself a good razor, find a line that you want and follow it, all right? So I'm gonna bring mine up, we're gonna shave up the neck and then we'll attack the beard. If you check out a video I did a little earlier, it was about how to line up the neck. And so what I like to do is I like to do the hangman's noose and I just wanna get this little patch out of the way. So I'm gonna clean that up and make a nice round shape and then I'm gonna go along with my beard. So I'm gonna find my spot, I'm gonna come up and it looks like right here's my line. And look at that, just that little bit has changed everything. Now let's do the other side. We're gonna find that spot, find the line that we want right here and then cut on down.
Now that we cleaned up both sides of the neck, I wanna take the clippers out and make a nice U-shaped or round-shaped beard. Now, I don't wanna start on the under portion. There's actually a line that I've been creating, and that's where I wanna cut and shape the beard. Now, I'm gonna start right here by the jawline, okay? This is where I'm squaring it up. What I wanna do is I wanna bring it right about here, and then I wanna curve it right to the chin. That way we have a nice round shaped beard. So I'm gonna start right here on this jaw. Come on down. Now of course I'm using my left hand, hopefully I don't screw up, but the same kind of thing, right? I wanna start right about that jaw line and then I wanna bring it down around into the chin. And remember guys, go slow, smooth, and small. That way you're not making big cuts or big adjustments. That way if something does happen, we can fade or blend it in. All right, you guys, I'm almost done. The last thing I wanna clean up is the under portion of my chin. I just wanna make everything nice and blended in a smooth transition. So I'm gonna finish it up with the scissors because sometimes those clippers can't get everything. So I'm gonna pull out uh, some of my bottom portion of my chin and just clean everything up. All right guys, I think I did a really good job. I'm gonna get some beard product. Let's put in some beard oil, some mustache wax, and see where we're at. All right, so let's put in a little bit of product. I already got some beard product going on. Let's start seeing where we're at with this round shaped beard. You guys, I always surprise myself. You get skeptical, make it like, is this gonna look good? I wanna make sure I'm doing it right. And every time, it always comes through, guys. This is just awesome. I tell you guys, I get giddy when everything turns out and looks good, all right? Let's finish it off. Let's put in a little bit of mustache wax. Make the beard and mustache complete. And I gotta tell you guys, my mustache is really on point right now. I'm digging, digging it. And it's just like that. It's not that hard, and I know you guys can do it. Just with a decent pair of clippers and a decent pair of scissors, you can do it all. So just like I did, I went from the jawline to the chin and just made a nice round shape. I cleaned up the neck and I went from a square shaped look to a nice round shaped look. And you guys know that's what I'm all about. If I can do it myself and if I can create that nice good look, I'm gonna save myself some money and do it myself. And just remember guys, just what we were talking about at the beginning, if you guys are at that point where your beard is not growing and you think that you're just at a terminal length then at that point, you guys need to style and trim out your beard to the best and full potential. You don't want your beard looking raggly and scraggly or unkept when you're trying to grow it out. We always wanna keep it moisturized, hydrated, and styled. That way our beard has the fullest potential to grow as long as it can. And to finish it up, yes, I answered your comments. I trimmed up, I rounded up my beard. That way I don't have that square bell box shaped look. It's all about you guys, and I will cut, trim, and do anything in front of you guys to show that you can do it as well, all right? So like always, guys, like, subscribe, and favorite. Check me out on Twitter, check me out on Twitch, check me out on Instagram, check me out on YouTube Live. I'm streaming at least three times a week. That way I can interact, chit-chat, and talk with you guys. Love you guys like always, and I'll see you on the flip side. See ya!